Hey babes, what's up? It's Haley, and welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to go ahead and take you guys thrifting with me. Egan had some time off, so I just told him might as well come with me. And today I just really want to go ahead and really just thrift because I feel like lately in my last few videos, I've kind of been thrifting themes, like thrifting for specific dupes or thrifting for specific iconic movies, stuff like that. And I feel like as fun as those videos are, I really want to go ahead and really just browse and not really have a plan and see what we end up coming out with. So not much of a plan today, but we're going to hit up a couple of thrift stores, but I'm really excited to get into it and let's head into Goodwill number one. so fun for me. I can totally be hands-free today because I have someone carrying my cart. Wonderful. <laughs> Anything specific that you're looking for today? Honestly, I definitely want to get myself some dresses because something I've noticed I've been really, really liking is those like really girly, feminine, kind of like Reformation style dresses and I want to see if I can find any because I notice, especially here in Florida, I tend to always go for like one-piece outfits like play suits and dresses because I think it's like a lot easier to wear when it's super hot outside. No way, you guys. I just found a brand new with tags urban outfitters dress and it's so beautiful. This is exactly that like cottage core aesthetic I was wanting. It's like a nice midi length and it is so pretty. Okay, this one does not have a tag on it, but it is gorgeous. Look at this maxi dress. I absolutely love the green color. This looks like it could have been something super expensive. I don't really know how to explain this material. It's like really soft, but it's pleasant too. And this green is my favorite shade of green right now for the summer. Oh, the thing is with the dresses you guys you really got to go through every single one because sometimes those beautiful ones are like hidden deep in there Every time I come here the cool furniture gets sold so quickly. I would have for sure bought this for our backyard Good one, this blue one. What the hell am I gonna do with that office chair? And I'm sitting here. But it's sold. I can't see it. It's illegal. Come on, be a rebel <laughs> Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> Sticking to the I love green, I really like the buttons on here and I actually mentioned in my last video that I've been really liking these like corset style tops, the ones that have like the buttons going all the way down. It's just such a cute way to like add some layers into your look, like this with a white button down underneath. I don't think it would fit me, but this is such a cute little dress. I don't recognize this brand and I would probably not wear something with like exposed skin here, but I really love the details on this one. I've also been really liking the terry cloth items because I got new house on this we go to the pool and I just want something to throw on. These ones are so easy to throw on top of a bikini with some denim shorts. I would probably just leave the buttons opened up. You know what this reminds me of? Remember one time I got a t-shirt? I don't remember what it said on it. It had like a saying on it and bedazzled letters and I was like, oh, this is so cute. It's like super Y2K. And then I ended up finding out that it was actually a porn site. <laughs> Do you remember? Hey, no. You don't remember that? Ever since then, I gotta say I'm like super cautious about what's written on my tops because you really just never know. Look how pretty this one is. I mentioned in my last video also that I've been really liking mesh, especially for layering. And it's a nice way for you to be able to wear a long sleeve when it's like really hot in the summer. This one I have to try on, but I think it can look cute. I already look. Really? Nothing? I have nothing myself. Maybe you just don't have the patience you need. No, maybe you just don't have what I need. <laughs> so you know what that means. This is just a thrift trip for me then. I'm just gonna stick to online shopping. We're picking up a Leo from daycare. Oh, boy, no. <laughs> Alright you guys, we finished up at the first thrift store. I actually have a couple stuff in the back and I'm actually parked right outside the next one that we're about to head in. I dropped that off at home before going to my nail appointment because he just had enough thrifting for today. But like I said, I did my nails and look how cute. I've just been really loving purple right now, if you can't tell. I mean, it even matches my new phone case from Casetify, which funny enough, today's video is actually sponsored by Casetify. Check out my brand new phone case. I'm obsessed. This is their new pillow talk case because it's really like the most fun squishy cushion of a case and I got it customized to say my name on it. The design on it just gives me Y2K vibes and I think that it's so cute. You guys know I love switching out my cases constantly and Casetify is the one brand that I always trust to look stylish and at the same time actually protect my phone. I actually got a bunch of Casetify cases recently. I have the purple one on my case right now but they also have this beautiful Kelly green and the best thing is that you guys can totally customize it for yourself. You can actually choose from five different 2000s inspired fonts and Casetify has a bunch more designs for you guys to browse and choose for yourself. The best part, this case is actually made from 90% recycled material. I've done a ton of drop tests with Casetify and we all know that they are drop test approved 
removed. And the pillow top cases also have this raised bevel edge so that even if your phone was to fall down, you don't have to worry about the screen getting damaged. So not only will your phone look cute, but you know that it's properly protected as well. So if you're looking to upgrade your phone case, especially now for the summer, check out these squishy, fun pillow top cases. I'll give you a cheeky little discount. If you use the code 15 Haley. you guys can get 15% off any Casetify case on their website. So I'll leave a link down below to Casetify in the bio. You guys can check it out for yourself. And without further ado, let's keep going with our thrifting trip. <laughs> This piece right here is actually pretty cool. It's definitely too small for me, but I've seen a lot of outfits with sleeves like this that people actually layer underneath certain tops and certain dresses, and it gives it a really cool look. So even though it's not fall, lately I've been really into like the plaid and the gingham and I found this top from Lucky Brand. I just really love the colorway of this. Just reminds me of something that Rachel Green would wear with a pair of like baggier jeans. This top right here is a brand new with tags. It definitely has that like farmy chic girl look. And then this one, obviously when I cinch in the front, I think it can give a really cool like cottage core aesthetic. As I mentioned time and time again, I just noticed that I'm always gravitating towards like the short sleeves and like the cap sleeve kind of items. That's why I usually stick to like the t-shirts and blouse section. So if you're asking, how do you make yourself feel like royalty? Just write queen on your clothes. <laughs> you guys remember micro skirt? Micro short. What I love about this Goodwill is they actually have like little bunches of clothes that are all organized by color, as you can see, which is super cool. Oh, for the fall time, that would have been cute. I'm really just seeing so many of these cottage core style dresses. You guys saw we found one earlier today. If it was longer, I for sure would have picked it up. It's just a bit too mini for me. But I really love the ruching details up here with the strings. And it's made of like this like cottony material. It's so cute and breezy for summer. And it's very possible that this is just the mom in me. But I've been really loving the track jackets lately. And this is a BB one that's bedazzled. And it's got some gold trim. I mean, how could I not pick this up? And just having everything be organized by color. I mean, it's so much easier to shop this way. Especially knowing I was looking for some white blouses. I easily was able to find this one. That's like the perfect solution to wanting a top that has like see-through detail. But look, it's lined underneath. So I don't have to worry about my bra showing. It's got the prettiest pearl detail too. Such a nice piece. Oh my gosh, and then this blouse is so pretty also. Wow. Okay, Haley, you gotta get out of the sweater section. What are you doing here? And like, look at what's outside. I mean, definitely too extra for me, but how freaking stunning. This is kind of insane for that certain aesthetic. Okay, you guys, we made it. Welcome back home. I hung up a few of the items that I got and I wanted to go ahead and put them into outfits because sometimes I know that you can see a piece in a thrift store and think, mm, that's cute, but how do I style it? So I'm definitely no expert, but I thought I would go ahead and provide you guys some inspo on how I'm gonna style these pieces and then take what that way you will when you guys head into thrift stores yourself and maybe that inspiration will help you out too. Also, I always do this at the end, but I'm just gonna ask right now, if you guys are enjoying this video so far, please give it a really big thumbs up because it really helps out this channel a lot. And if you are new and you aren't subscribed, be sure to subscribe down below as well to join the amazing family. So with all that, let's get into the try on. All right, so for our first little thrift find, this dress was honestly such a score because obviously this was definitely something on my list but it just like fits really well too i mean i will say it's kind of tight over here i feel like if i had a flatter chest it would have definitely fit better but you guys this was a brand new dress from urban outfitters listed to cost like 99 dollars, and i just got it for 10 brand new with tags so cute it's got like the adjustable ribbon straps here which i love and i personally really really love this hemline for the summer i feel like people always tend to go for like really mini dresses in the summer but i feel like these are so much more flattering and like very feminine but with longer hemlines it does tend to like cut off my leg length a little bit. That's why I wanted to add it with some heels. It's just so cute. I love it. Okay, this next piece, I just could not wait to get it on. I am so in love with like the lace or mesh tops lately. And I especially love pairing blouses like this with something super casual. So I just wore it with some denim shorts and my Nikes. Because honestly, you guys, every time I realize I thrift myself like blouses like this, I never really have a fancy occasion to wear them. So I just try to integrate them into wearing them every day. I'm wearing a nude bralette underneath, so it doesn't even look see-through, which is awesome. And otherwise, I just love the texture of this top. It's so pretty. I love the little details here in the sleeve and in the collar too. I love the 
bottom few buttons on buttons so you can see like the top of my jeans but such a freaking cute top if there's something to add to your list it's textured blouses like this and later on I could take this top into the fall and the winter months by layering it underneath some sweater vests too that can also look really good all right bear with me you guys when I saw this top right away I thought to myself this would be perfect to recreate that coastal grandmother look that everyone is loving right now so this shirt is the one that I thrifted it's like a terry cloth material it's originally from Old Navy and it was just like three or four bucks I thought it would be really perfect to not only wear day to day but even throw on on top of a bikini if I'm going to the beach or the pool but then when I came home I remembered that I had some like cream shorts that I thought would look so good together and putting them on this is like a perfect pairing is it not but you can definitely make this a more athleisure too by switching it out for some sneakers just like this and then maybe like a black shoulder bag to kind of break up all the white I could tuck it in but I kind of like the baggy pajama look yeah okay this is definitely gonna be a summer fit that I'm gonna keep wearing for sure as you guys can tell I'm like really trying to keep these outfits super casual and very wearable for like anybody starting with this top that we thrifted I'm so obsessed with this pastel green color I love green in general for the summertime but especially this like light pistachio shade I love it so much it's like a rib material and it's got buttons going all the way to the top which is definitely a really nice detail these are just some neutral shorts that I thrifted from the pajama section the reason I chose to pair these colors together is because this top just reminds me of matcha and the bottoms just remind me of like my ice cold lattes so like perfect combination you know added on my checkered vans with this look for a little bit of added pattern but as I told you guys in my last video where I talked about some summer trends a lot of people lately are wearing a lot of like corset tops which I'm not the biggest fan of so something I suggested to wear instead are little waistcoats and vests just like this because it still kind of cinches you in and gives you that cute look without being like too revealing or provocative all right you guys so moving on there's nothing like crazy special about this top but I wanted to show it to you because of the color this tangerine orange is actually very very hot right now so when I was thrifting I was kind of like keeping my eye out for it and I have to say I think it's so flattering I've seen it on so many different skin tones it looks beautiful on everybody and I really like the way that it pairs with some jeans to style it I just kept it very simple because this top is so loud and bright I just wanted to dress it down with some jeans and because the fit of this top is a little bit tighter I opted for some looser fit jeans just to add a bit of contrast a tank top and jeans a t-shirt and jeans you can really like never go wrong with it but I do think when you add a pop of color like this it feels a little bit more stylish and for the shoes if you haven't been seeing me wear it all the time the Adidas superstars I was so in love with these sneakers you guys and it's been a couple of years that I haven't worn them I don't know why all of a sudden I have like a reemergence for loving them right now they are so comfortable but not only that I just think the three stripes in general are coming back putting this together and looking at myself now I don't know if it's giving me Indiana Jones vibes or just a dad on a vacation with his family but I'm really into all these colors this color palette in general and the plaid button-down t-shirts it's kind of like fisherman chic I'm really just making up aesthetics as I go you guys but sometimes I like certain outfits that are like so outside what I usually wear but whatever it's fun to experiment I got the t-shirt flannel from the little boy section it was an extra large and I only got it for three bucks it pairs really well with these jeans that I actually cut and made a split flare in the bottom myself because I wanted them to kind of like drape over my sneaker rather than be a skinny fit doing that just always makes my legs look so much longer and then top it off with the summer fisherman bucket hat because why not <laughs> Mm, guys, I'm looking at myself in the mirror. I like the top, but I don't know how I feel about how I styled it So let me know down below. Is this fisherman chic or just a very big no-no? Or I could just keep wearing these like one-piece rompers because they're really my favorite thing right now But thank you guys so much for watching today's thrift video And again, be sure to go ahead and check out the new case to fight cases Especially these pillow talk ones. They are so cool If you want to get your hands on this yourself, you can go ahead and use my code 15 love Haley to get 15% off your case to fight order And with all that my phone's ready for summer my wardrobe for summer is coming along too. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I love you forever and always, and I can't wait to see you in my next one.